Tonight at Channel 2 Action News exclusive, we're looking into reports a Clayton County jail detainee was stabbed 18 times and broke two legs trying to escape. We've been reporting for months about attacks inside the jail, and Channel 2 investigative reporter Mark Winnie is live in Clayton County now. Mark, this may have started partly because of food. Yeah, and we attempted to reach Sheriff LaVon Allen by email, text, and phone. Uh, but much of the information for this report comes from a young woman who tells us she spoke by phone last evening with a Clayton County Jail inmate stabbed a dozen and a half times and suffering two broken legs. He told me I've been stabbed 18 times. He told me um, he's been stabbed in his head. He said he was hit upside the head with a metal piece. He said I've been stabbed in my hands, my legs my ankles. Monica Johnson told us she's a registered nurse, but one doesn't need professional medical expertise to be horrified. I have a fear for his life being in Clayton County Jail. It's like, if I wake up, will I get the news that he's dead being in that jail? Horrified by the injury, she says her boyfriend, Ralph Renard Perry, told her he sustained in an attack by other inmates in the Clayton County Jail last week, including 18 stab wounds and breaking both legs, trying to get away from his attackers when he jumped from one floor to the floor below trying to escape. He also said he hurt his back when he had to jump from the top floor from trying to get away from the stabbing. A City of Lovejoy official told us Ralph Renard Perry had been sentenced to 180 days in jail for a misdemeanor shoplifting charge. What did he tell you about why he was attacked? So he said he was sitting in a cell and he was um, he had his food around him that he had bought from commissary. And he said that basically they wanted to take his food. Ms. Johnson says Perry told her in a call from jail Sunday evening, he had been in a local hospital a few days where his fever reached 105 and his blood pressure, he indicated to her, was also dangerously high. And as a nurse, she wonders why he's not still in an outside hospital. What's giving you the strength to cope with this? I would just say my spirituality with God, um, just a lot of prayer and time with him. This is far from the first stabbing we've heard of recently in the Clayton County Jail. I got stabbed. And, and beat down so bad. And where were you stabbed? Uh, my back, my mouth, and then my arm. Last month, Robert Welch said in December he was stabbed and beaten while in the Clayton County Jail after he violated the conditions of his bond for aggravated stalking in a domestic situation. But he's determined not to do it again, not just because it's the right thing, but because jail conditions are so bad he fears he might die. Welch's attorney, Byron Morgan, said he hasn't seen the jail as bad as it's been lately in more than 30 years of practicing law in Clayton County. Earlier this year, my colleague Godrey Washington reported on an incident that some of the images were blurred for TV. The video was hard to watch, and according to the mother of the victim, the video showed five Clayton County jail inmates attacking her 21-year-old son. Audrey reported he was stabbed 23 times. I mean, stabbing to his head, his ear, his chest area, stomach. Audrey reported that in a statement to Channel 2 Action News, Sheriff LaVon Allen said he became aware of the assault on January 4th and that he said in all five inmates were identified and charged with attempted murder. Those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed. It's unanimous. Clayton County Commission Chair Jeff Turner has said that in February the commission approved on an emergency basis more than $3 million at the request of the sheriff's office to fix locks, broken windows, and operable toilets and other issues contributing to deplorable conditions in the Clayton County Jail. Our back live, Clayton County District Attorney Tasha Mosley has told us she is aware of widespread violence inside the Clayton County Jail and has been working on a lengthy indictment against dozens of people involving allegations of aggravated assault, extortion, illegal contraband, and more. She says the sheriff's office is cooperating with the ongoing investigation. Reporting live, Mark Winnie. Channel 2 Action News. So many serious incidents. I know you'll stay on it, Mark. Thank you.